As for me, uh, my family calls me a, a, a somebody who repels technology. Whenever I'm a, a teacher in the classroom, I'm old school. It's chalk and, and the board. And the reason for this is that I feel that uh, students in chemistry have to do that. It's got to be pencil and paper and working it through. So the combination of those things was a little bit um, worrisome. With the help of the guys at the Sandbox and the ease of using this thing, things have been going great for my work. I put the videos together and it was really a snap to get it started. Um, every time that you get started and then the dogs bark in the background or uh, the cat walks across, you get to just start over. So it's really comfortable and easy to get the takes that you want. Very easy to store and put them wherever you need them. and literally what they see are my hands and a notebook and problems. So what I'm doing is I'm replicating what they ought to be doing. So it's sort of an old school approach to how to do the problems, but with technology. It's, it's an extra five or 10 or 15 or 20 problems per chapter for them to look at, to practice, uh, seeing me do it as I do it, the way I'd like them to do it. my students, most importantly, are using them. It's great, and, and at any time, if I need to add something, I find that students have a, a, something they don't understand. I can put a video up in, in a half hour, and it's up for people, you know, for them to look at. So it's really flexible, it's really easy, and uh, I encourage everybody to do it because you can tailor make this to what you need, and, and you know that students are, are technology savvy. This is how they've grown up. So this is comfortable for them and you can make it comfortable for you too. And it's just extra contact hours for your students and it can only help. I'm Nick West with the iDesign Classroom Group. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to hook up the Lumens DC 192 document camera. It allows for your own personal flash drive to go in it can connect directly to your computer by USB, and it also has some onboard storage. Today I'm gonna to show you how to hook it to your own computer and record directly to your hard drive. It'll take your, it comes with a USB cable with an A and a B connector. You'll take the A and plug it into the back corner. Take the other end and plug it directly into your desktop or laptop. Now you'll be ready to go online and download the drivers and the software so you can record directly to your computer.